Hey there everyone, this is Daniel, checking out some La Milana. Uh, this is a Metroidvania game. It's an indie Metroidvania where you're... It's basically very Indiana Jones inspired, kind of like Spelunky. Uh, you can see we've got uh, like an Indiana Jones type guy with a whip and the hat on the left side there. And on the right side we've got another character who's a lot prettier. <laughs> um, basically, yeah, it's... Uh, La Milana 1 was an old... A, Fairly, it's a fairly old indie game at this point, I believe, where you play as that guy on the left side there. And La Mulana 2 was a sequel that was um, crowdfunded, where you play as his daughter, who is the blonde lady on the right there. Uh, I don't know a lot about the gameplay. I've got the box here as well. There you go. On the front. Uh, apart from that, it's really, really hard, apparently. So hopefully I can play this fairly well. I think in terms of, like, other gameplay elements, I think it's a bit more of a Metroid than it is a Castlevania. Uh, I think you don't have, like, level ups and stats and stuff, which you do in Castlevanias and you don't in Metroid, so... Uh, we'll see how we go. I'm guessing I'm going to enjoy La Mulana 2 a bit more, uh, because you, you get to play as a girl. <laughs> uh, given the way these kinds of games work, though, it probably doesn't matter that much. Uh, like, you don't get to play as a girl in Axiom Verge either, and I'm having a wonderful time with that game, so... Uh, let's just dive in and see what the deal is with the La Mulana. We're gonna play the first one, probably. La Mulana 1 and 2. Oh, I see. So I just press A or B to select which game I want to play. Uh, A? Go. Cool. Alright. I wasn't sure if it would be like two separate games on the menu, but it's not apparently. It is one game, and then you pick once you've gone in. Uh, I think it's designed like this game's a pixel art long ago, before humanity came into existence. And it's designed for like a 4x3 screen, so it's got those borders on the Switch. Nigoro presents. Ascending unto this place, came from the sky, one unto this world. Trapped alone, he cries. We return home to heaven. It is where I belong. Sultan, please help me. Children, send me back home. Children, for this reason, were born. That is the day that humanity was born, and when they angered her, they were destroyed. After several ages of destruction, the story begins. So is she like Lavos, or...? Kind of the vibe I'm getting. <laughs> La Mulana. Uh, we have start, continue and load are grayed out. I assume once I have a save file I can use it. You can play time attack. Got some options here. Uh, oh I see. Aspect ratio scales up a little bit. Dot by dot I assume is integer scaling so that the, the pixel art looks exactly right. Uh, you can change what border you get in widescreen if you want. Sounds... Oh, okay. There's some different soundtracks you can play with. Uh... Also, you can remap most of the buttons. You can't remap the, the uh, D-pad and stuff, but that's probably fine. You can remap with everything else by the looks of things. Start the game. Finally, I reach La Mulana. The adventure starts here. Okay. So I'm playing as this little Indiana Jones fellow here. Uh, you can move with the D-pad or the analog stick. It doesn't seem to make a difference which you use. Uh, 
up and down do nothing. And jump with B. And I have my little whip here. Uh, A button, nothing. X button, nothing. Minus. Pauses. I can also press plus to open this menu here. Uh, this seems to be my laptop. <laughs> Main weapon, whip. The one and only weapon the professor brought with him. Turn my volume down a little bit. Mobile Super X. I assume this is what I'm looking at. The top laptop featuring only adventuring essentials. I'm guessing I can install more software onto this laptop? This thing. I can't interact with it, whatever it is. Oh, down. There we go. It's, it's a save point. Press down at it and you can save the game. Okay, cool. Would you like to save the game? Can I talk to these people? Hello. I don't think so. Welcome. You're that Professor Lomezo, right? Am I right? I think, uh, I know you're looking for La Mulana, right? Them ruins can be reached down by the outskirts of this village. Your father went in there to do his research, but he ain't been back for some days now. I ain't got a clue to what he's after, but since ancient times folks have been passing rumours down about secret treasures. Heck, even the origin of life itself may be hiding inside these ruins. Generation after generation protected La Mulana. Even so, I don't really know what her secrets are. I won't stop you from entering the ruins, but mind you, the mysteries of La Mulana are unsolved because those who go in don't come back out, dead or alive. Who knows what happened to you? Hey, welcome, people don't have any interest. Take a wait with you too. By the way, that is one snazzy laptop. It's made just for archaeological exploration. This is amazing, so thin and light. Of course, it looks like it's made in Japan. They could make good games there too. Oh, one last thing. Unlike your father, you look like you need a hand. Take this software, I developed it myself. I only get to come emails from me. That's some weird proprietary software you have there. You can't reply, but I'll send you all sorts of tips. Let me see your laptop. Contain Zelpud mailer. Is this person Zelpud? Here we go, it's installed, but don't forget you gotta activate it from the software screen. You gotta read all my emails. If you knew anyone can you come back to the village, well then you best come back. Got it? Alrighty, you're all set now. Off you go. Alright. I'll bring up my software again. I, I see, so I have limited memory space, and this takes up some of my memory. And I guess that person is, is Zelpod? I assume I'll get more software later. Oh, oh, e email. These emails from me. There are no plans for version update. There is no help page. Help and troubleshooting requests will not be supported. Thank you for using the Zelpod mailer, Zelpod. <laughs> email thingy, you try. Uh, a shell horn. Inside the process, it's sound pain with it above the entry room. You have to open it with weight. Press down to place the weight. Okay. Oh, more email? No? I was just flash still flashing because I opened the thing immediately. I think is what happened. Cheap, cheap, get it here. What's that? The hand scanner. Just to inspect stone tablets. That sounds helpful. I'll take it. Uh, I can't buy the other thing because they're already sold out. Hand scan. How do I use it? It's me. If you bought a hand scanner, you should find out about all sorts of places. Reading stone tablets is a given. You should scan anything, from skeletons to mysterious objects. I to think of it. I gave a map of the area surrounding the village to a man long ago, but he still ain't come back. He might have died somewhere out there. Why don't you take a look at some of the skeletons? You might find the map. Can I hurt these people? No, I can't. Good. I thought I should probably check. Adventure time, eh? Better stock up. Uh, I mean, I, I do want these things. Field, waterproof case, and a pistol. I don't have any money, but I, I'd like to buy those things. How do I use my hand scanner? Uh, assume that one of the buttons I can figure. Use item with X? Maybe I need to be standing somewhere I can scan. Right here. It's a holy grail tablet. If you pick up from the last Holy Grail tablet, you touched your save pressing down button. Hey, everyone, be sure to follow the rules when using the Holy Grail tablet. Okay. I'm not sure if this game has fall damage. Um, when you're in midair, you can't, like, adjust your jump very much. As you can see, I'm jumping to the direction and then trying to go back, and I just sort of turn. So, if there's fall damage, that might be a problem. Put spring on the outskirts of the village. Uh, that's all you gotta say. Okay.
PC shop. Oh, that's a weight, right? Yeah. Uh, a Glyph Reader? Yeah, I think I want that. A Yagu Map Reader. I think I want all of those things, but I have no money. Oh, enemies. Watch out. Yeah, when you drop off a ledge, uh, like this, you can't actually adjust your movement at all horizontally as you're falling. Which is realistic, but it's, uh, a little jarring considering what I'm used to. I'm guessing I don't want to go in the water without a waterproof case. I don't want to break my computer. It seems like it's quite an important item. Ow. Oh dear. That could be a problem. Ah! <laughs> Did I just drop another wave? I'm only carrying one, so I guess... no? Danger. No entry beyond this point. Legend has that Argus, the monster with a blue body that's covered in eyes, is weak against the serpent star. Thanks. Keep that in mind. I'm guessing I'm gonna have to fight Argus at some point. Oh yeah, I can't fight that guy. Is that Argus? Yeah, that is Argus. Yeah, see the eyes? Okay, Argus looks different than I was expecting. I was thinking of the boss from Link to the Past. It was just like a blob with eyes, basically. <laughs> Okay, I need to find out what happens if I go in the hot spring. Healed me. My computer's still working, so maybe it's only deep water that's a problem? Okay, I got something just then, like a little blob? Green, maybe it was health? Got a bit more money. Can I afford anything good? Uh, this one. Yagu Map Reader. Maps of the Ruins. That sounds quite useful. Activated. Uh, it didn't add an extra tab, so I'm not quite sure how it worked. Maybe it's minus? Oh, well, that's cute. Look. When you press minus, the professor starts, like, eating or something, and then just having a little sit. <laughs> okay. about the shell cave or something? Or the shell from some other named cave? I can't quite remember the details. But there was something this way that I wanted me to look for. Okay, I got another weight there, and I have two of them. Dodge. Okay, I think I wanted to go this way. Excuse me. Oh, that's a treasure chest. I'll have that. You actually can't jump up from below. These aren't like semi-solids, like in like in, uh, in Mario. I don't even a chest. No idea. Cut all the buttons. Maybe I can't open it. I need like a special chest opening thing. Oh, maybe. Okay, yeah. You, you put the put the weight on the little button, and then the chest opening. Okay. Hellhorn. Ow. Okay, those little orbs do not heal you, but they fill up like a little blue bar underneath your health. 
Email? There's a large waterfall right near the village. Don't jump in it for fun. For fun? Okay, I won't. Quite a drop. Okay, so there's no fall damage in this game, that answers that. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, push block. Yeah, I figured I could push it. I think I need that to make it like a stepping stool so I can climb up to the next part. This day. They lurk within the sign of ordeals, death awaits the powerless, and it's taking those from the seven history. I'm just hearing. Okay. Gates of Guidance. Okay, so we're now actually in Lime Milana. We're not before, we were nearby it. Okay, I can't read that. Uh, I think there's another piece of software that lets me read that, but I, I don't have the money to get it yet. Why did it have to be bats? <laughs> oh, can I take these stairs? Yes, I can. A save point? Can't read it. Save point. Uh, L2, there we go. Money there. Always nice to get some money. What the heck are these things? Like good frogs or something? They look kinda like frogs. Yeah. Ah, oh, I still can't read it. I'm getting money, so I might just need to go back and get the... I think it was called Glyph Reader or something? Once I've got enough. Creepy eyeball there. It's gotta be relevant. I think I'm not quite sure how yet. Okay, I can put a weight here. Okay, that opens both of those. I think I need to go back to this direction. Do they stay open? Okay. Hi. Oh. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I'm a little confused. I can't like wall kick or anything. Maybe I need to come back once I can. I don't know if you can get the wall kick in this game or not. Used. Ring in the sky. Yeah, I feel like that'll definitely destroy my computer if I go in there. Can't read that. Do I need to get the translator thing? Like 50 money? I think it was 50.
I wasted the money in that other chest, but I'm guessing money won't be too hard to come by. It looks like enemies can drop it and they respawn. So I think I'll be alright. Okay, I can't go anywhere else that way. Did I go down that ladder yet? I don't think I did. Yeah, this looks new. Again, something I can't read. Ah! Is that just to try to kill me? Bit rude. I had a white, so I can't actually press that one. Oh god. Oh no! <laughs> Interesting, I can't be continue, only load. Maybe I unlock continue later? I'm not sure how it works. I think I want to push one of them uh, into that corner on the side there, with like a lowered section. I'm taking a lot more hits than I should. Oh, hang on. I need to come down in from down below. Yeah, if I come from this side, I can push the block. Also get hit by that skeleton. Okay, cool. L like in Spelunky, you can just walk through this fight, and you're fine. Uh, I can't push this because there's two of them. I may have made some poor decisions. <laughs> oh god. We got like rats. Ow. Oh, did it explode? Oh god. <laughs> I'm guessing, yeah, you eventually unlock a, a separate continue option that lets you go different places. And then any upgrades yet, which is interesting. I got them pretty early in the game. In a conventional, you know, Metroid or Castlevania, you would get at least like one extra thing this like this far in but it hasn't happened yet in this one. How do you open this chest? I can't see a switch anywhere. Come the bottom way. And jump that gap. Go again. Nah, I thought there might be a like a lever underneath there. I could put a weight on but 
how you get up here. Okay. Do I have a map, by the way? No, I don't. Even though I do have the map reader. Is it switched on? Yeah, it is. I don't have the map yet. I assume I've got to find it somewhere. Quite useful. Bah! Okay, that's what that does. It uh electrocutes you if you hit this thing. Apparently. I think anything else seems to be fine though. Five. I think I just want to save up enough that I can read the hint. Which means 50, I think. Close to 50, I think. Not too far. Music's pretty good, by the way. Probably knew that because you like, you're like listening to the game as well, but it sounds really cool. Uh, some money in this turn. These uh, lion friends. Not a lot. There we go. Okay, let's, let's uh, exit. I don't have any kind of fast travel. I don't know if this game has that at all, or if that's like something I get later. Uh, I'm trying to use separate save files because I know it's possible to miss certain things forever if you make a mistake. This, room, this game is apparently quite rude about that. <laughs> if you mess up certain puzzles and stuff is just gone. Oh! Sacred Orb. What does that do? Uh, it doesn't go in my inventory. Oh, the, the like, uh, you solved a puzzle jingle is coming from the horn. I get it. Oh, I got an email? Sacred, Sacred Orb gives you more strength, apparently. I'm not sure what it increases. Maybe maybe my my max health or something. the box away and that's about it. Uh, okay, so the shop I want is on the next screen. I'm not sure if I need to be up or not. Get to it. Find out. I think maybe eventually you get to walk between the uh is it? Glyph reader, yes. Perfect. The reader is on. So now if I go back in, I should be able to read all the little tablet. It makes people to grab ladders while jumping, but you can't do that in this game. Oops. Again, if you just walk off an edge, you, you just drop straight down, you don't throw an angle or anything. Also, the knockback is intense. 
Bump. Okay. Back we go. So now I should be able to read all of those little hint thingies. Like, for example, this one. This is where the mother lays to rest. In this path of trials, only heroes who do not, do not fear death need to proceed. Okay. Can I read that one? It's like a little damage. No. Hold the gate of guidance. Death awaits those who would disturb this land. Not super helpful information, but offer three lights to the heaven. Light. You see two torches on screen. Hmm. Maybe. There isn't one behind there. Or there. I'm guessing it's something you do with this thing in the middle, but I don't know how to interact with that yet. Courageous one, embrace their power. If thou seekest power, prove thine courage. Thou traipest on holy grounds. Take count to cause me needless damage. Those who want to this one not punish them from the heaven. Right, so needless damage is stuff like hitting objects that don't that aren't enemies, and that's why you get zapped. Uh, up here was water, right? Possible I can do something here. Open the floodgate, the water will once again flow. Open the floodgate of a land. The one inside the ruins is slightly poisonous. Okay, so my health drains for a minute. Going up. Okay, obviously I want that, but I can't activate that Zaki Zap thing yet. Try going to the next screen alone. I assume if I whip this thing, I'll get zapped from the lightning over there again. That's not what I want. Oh, I can't jump through the water. It, it's just too too much. I can't really go this way at all. Helmet. Oh, I don't have a helmet. Yet. And I'm guessing, yeah, I whipped that. I get like here. Just wanted to make sure. I don't think I can actually do a whole lot up there yet. I can talk to these skeletons. Room names are written in the puzzles on the stone. Turn a the map or something. Alright. But yeah, if you if you inspect a skeleton that's like just sort of lying there rather than wandering around trying to kill you, you get some extra hints by books of things. Another message in this room? Yes. Oh, that's an obvious crap. Ah, it's a hint. Go to challenge the guardian, know thy strength. Death awaits the powerless, the future awaits those who train themselves and take on the challenge. 
am I supposed to, like, get hit and survive and that gets me something? Or... Path of gazing faces lies within the heaven heavenly corridor. The hidden floor, I found it, but I got really excited and fell. I don't know where the ho heavenly corridor is yet. If I can get that now. We'll pass here. Come on, play the good little noise. Oh, a map! Ooh! I said so this is the heavenly corridor that we're in? Uh, I can't get up there, but I can see another white pedestal, so I do want to get up there. It shall connect once held in the mouth, when one swallows, the other spits out. Oh, so the, like the one above? But will become a platform so I can climb up? Is that what it's saying? Oh, hello. Oh, money. Good stuff. Uh, I'm concerned about these guys. They seem quite strong. Okay, but when you kill them, you get a lot of little dots, so you get healed a lot. I messed this up earlier. See if we can do it correctly. Pour thy memories into the Holy Grail. Leave thy mark on this land, then raise the Holy Grail up and look all lands once travel. In doing so, thou will once again stand upon that land. I think that's telling me I can teleport using the Grail platforms. Oh, hello! Hello. Like once I have the Holy Grail, I can teleport around to it. I think that's what it means. Oh, that's not a platform. Well, that was a platform, but it was not a platform. <laughs> Let's so push the white box. The white platform and white box are drawn to each other. Okay, here I come, loot. Holy Grail! Warp to a recorded tablet and file. Press the item button in the pause screen to use. Oh, yep, look, I can walk. Wait. This way yet? Looks new. I can't jump across that gap. Can I? No. <laughs> um. The guild runs a hi hidden store? Something aside in favour of money and barter.
I'm out of pipe. More the Liam of the Giant. I'm not supposed to be here yet. <laughs> are these are the ruins of the beings known as giants. I'm definitely finding money pretty easily. That's nice. And I can warp now, so I can just go back to the service and go shopping. You're able to fulfill the Great Mother's wishes. Now I, too, the last remaining of us, can do for a long slumber. Abuto. I think I might need to identify the giants by their names, and that's why it's telling me Abuto there. I think that might be a puzzle. It's just a vibe I'm getting. I could be completely wrong. There's the Holy Grail. Surface? Okay, so yeah, I can just warp out, go to the shop again. Uh, they have nothing. One of these shops had a waterproof case. What's that? A buckler? You know, a buckler. Uh, I can't buy the gun yet. To equip the buckler, or how's this work? Open the menu underwater. Okay, cool. They call it these days warping? Yeah, that's what they call it. I thought I used my little shield. Okay. Did I go down this hole already? I think I did. I can't really right, that leads to this room. Okay, let's give this one more shot. Let's see if I can do it without messing up this time. Okay, so we want to push one of these? So, we want to go down here. Can you keep pushing it? Uh, that's not right. I don't think I can pull the block. So, something else I need to do. Add some more weights. Seems like a bit of an annoying limitation the way the game works, that you just sort of end up without weights and can't do things. Oops. Oh, that's a clever trick. Wind, fire, blood. I guess it's got something to do with these symbols over here. <laughs>
Mother was great. She made even the giants look tiny. The giants were great. Thou art tiny. With a goal. Okay. Hey, wait. Thou forbidden from again laying eyes on this marker. Those who heed not this coin will suffer the pain of death. Think if you read that one again, you die. Like, it, it just becomes a it just becomes instant death. <laughs> I don't know if I've gotten locked out of doing something by doing that, given that I now cannot read that one again. Prince Brothers Rebu Digger holds in like water the tower. His strength is also then let down to rest. So that's the so Rebu is, is near a hole that sends water to the tower. I think. Ghost of Brightening. Ah! How to fly, much water was needed. Miguel had carried a lake to this land, then drew his last breath. I'm actually stuck down here now. That went open. I can warp, so I guess I need to just warp out. Software at the software shop, I might need. I think I got everything. Oh, they sell weights. I can use a weight. Oh, and you got five of them. Oh, that's quite good. Uh, you don't want to shop, you just tell me about the hot spring. Hey, hot spring. So I want to go back to the places where I needed them. Oh, here, I think. Do I need weights again? Temple of the Sun. Perhaps to capture thieves with a newly set. Newly constructed wall too, the key has been hidden. Okay, so now I'm in the Temple of the Sun. Ow. Yeah, that's a wall. 
I want to activate that. Okay. Oh! Where'd the stairs go? Did I break it? Hey Sonic, what are you doing here? Oh, they really are Sonic. There's like a door I should be able to go into, but apparently I can't. Okay, so now that I can warp, I get a continuum. I think this is how it works. I can't jump up these slopes, by the way. Jumps you away like that. Ow. The confusing title. Uh, what's down here? Oh, right, this is how you get this room without falling. Oh, I have some letters? Hang on. A trolley. Okay. Hey. Okay. Good thing to say. Yeah, I can't actually go up there because of the way the conveyor belts work. Meditate under web jet, do nothing more than pray. Oh my god. I can do now? It doesn't really look like it. Unless I'm supposed to go down the waterfall. Give it a try. Here we go. Oh, hello. That's a save point. We've got like a goat. Yeah, I can't get through there, I need way more health. But the water is a little bit poisonous. Are you just supposed to travel back to the hot spring every time you need a heal, or...?
Huh, it, it lets me go to Cyphers and Gate of Guidance, even though I went towards other places. I guess I'm misunderstanding how it works. Maybe you need to find a Holy Grail in each area for it to be added as a warp or something? one at the Gate of Guidance. And, like, Surface maybe doesn't count towards it. Or something. I don't know. I should have jumped a little bit. I think if I just keep going this way, yeah, I get to here. So I can place a weight on this space. Let's see what that does. Okay, let me go into here. Oh, a shop. A guild. Detect hidden stores by a sound. Uh, is it in my inventory now? Oh, it's an app. So I had thought I knew what to do with these, but even though I know the order to hit them in, I don't know how to do it without getting electrocuted. So, I think something else I'm supposed to do first. Oh, hang on, look. The same symbols are over here. Is that relevant? Oh, that's the blood and fire one. Maybe I just hit them in the wrong order? Maybe I hit this one first? Yeah, I think that's it. Hit them in the right order. Uh, what was it? Blood and fire, I think? Nope. Okay, uh, blood then wind? No. Evidently I'm doing something wrong here. Blood, wind, fire, blood and fire. Yeah, so... But blood is this one. Do we need to actually destroy them? Oh, okay. Okay, and then wind. And fire. Then the blood and fire. I'm not sure what that did. Maybe it opened a thing on the next room because I saw the same pattern. Yes. Okay, and that made a staircase way up there. I assume. Oh, wrong way. somewhere interesting. Oh, one-way door. Okay. Oh! Okay. I'll have that.
ant jewel. What does this do? You can destroy the ark in which guardians sleep. I think that means you can fight the boss? Like, the Guardian sleeps there. I think you break it, and then... I think that's what it is. I think it's like a boss key, basically. Are we gonna go up there? We got healed. We got enough of the little blue, little green spears. I'm just not sure where I need to go to use the use the unk, the arc spear, unk jewel, whatever it is. The thing, the thing I got. I don't think that pathway. Can I get there? Maybe? Oops. Not like that. Oh, Might be able to get there from the fresh chest platform. It looks a bit far though. Uh, yeah, no. I need to be able to make this thing in the middle move. I don't know how to do that yet. Oh, it's back here. Uh, I think that helps me. It's been about an hour, but you get the idea. It's a very, um, very Tomb Raider-y sort of Metroidvania. <laughs> ah, they can do that? I have it now. I don't know where the arc is, but I'm gonna break with it. Maybe something to do with this? Definitely something up there, which I haven't looked at yet.
Wait, did not work that way. That's cool. Both of them do that. Um... I don't see how this is gonna work, but see what happens. Yeah, it's not like going into a little hole. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it goes any other distance, so I'm not sure what to do with that. to do this one? Like, get tricked by the trap in order to progress? I, I don't know. Something interesting symbol is there. Mm, must be the right place. Maybe the grail only takes you places you have maps for? That would make sense. I've got a map for the first area, and not for the other ones. Let's drop in here and see if I can get a hint from this guy. Yeah, I got a hand scanner. Okay, it doesn't seem like he has a whole lot to say that's very helpful. Did I already buy you out? I did. How about you? Oh, you're not shocked.
Okay, um, I think I'll call that a video. Like, it's basically with me being confused about this game a lot. This is more or less what I was expecting. Like, the con like the gameplay in terms of controls and stuff is pretty tricky. You've got to be a bit precise. But the really hard thing is the puzzles. <laughs> and that's really interesting. It's an interesting choice to make a game that's super confusing. You have a gun, right? No, you don't have a gun. We have some stuff that's all sold out. Can I get that? But I don't have these things. If like a shuriken and a B button, it's probably like a uh, another computer program. I probably want. Not going anywhere that way. Whip's a little delayed as well, which is Like, you see the animation, you sort of flip it back and then forward, so you've got to time it carefully to get the effect you want. Rapid water? Oh, I see. So I need, like, the helmet they were talking about earlier so I can get through. Either. Oh no, I don't need the helmet. I need to go in the water apparently. What if I go this way? Ow. What it does still damage you like all the other water. Slowly though. It's the same as the other water, but it's more concern. Hey bud. Climbing. Okay, yeah, just climb. Doesn't seem like I got anything for coming up here. Of course, the game kind of told me not to come up here, so that's fair, but. I was hoping for some cool stuff. Is that why the Elder's not giving me hints? Because he thinks it's boring to get hints? <laughs> Interesting. Um... Yeah, I think I'm gonna call this a video. Uh... A bit of a weird one since it's more or less just me... ...mulling over what I'm supposed to do in this game. <laughs> uh, I hope you enjoyed. Uh... If you've played the game and know what, I, know what I should be doing, I'm sure you're, you know, yelling at your monitor, you know, go that way, do that thing. But... <laughs> Can I talk to any of these people? No. Doesn't look like it. Hold out. I do want more gun. I suppose I should buy, buy some more weight before I head back in. The game seems to require a lot of those. automatically buy five weights, but it does cost you ten each. So it costs you fifty to buy five of them? That's 
seems a bit rude given it just shows you shows that it across ten. Yeah, I assume I just need to go somewhere and use this tank jewel, but I don't know where. Uh, I can't think of anything that looked like an appropriate place to use it. I assume it would be in the Gate of Guidance section. It might not be, I suppose. I really don't know. That door is interesting, but I still don't know how I would get up there. Might need like a power up, like a bigger jump or something. Double jump? I, I don't know what this game has. It might be like a high jump, like in Met Parade, or it might be a double jump, like in most Castlevanias. Or at least the ones I've played. <laughs> I don't know if that's a common thing in Castlevania, the double jump. I can't jump that far, but maybe if I move the blocks around, I can? Okay, okay, an idea's coming in my head here. Let me just try this first. <laughs> I know I know, I said the video was over, but I, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta see. Okay, so I push that across to there, and hmm... But if I drop it down to the lower level... Wait... Like that, and I put another one on top of it. That gives me a platform that's a bit further over. Maybe we'll be able to reach? Yep, we can. Uh, is there a reason to come up here, though? I was thinking maybe I could go through the wall up here as well, but it doesn't look like it. I'm not sure if I've achieved anything by getting up here. Um, it's not the spot you need to use the Ark. Okay, hmm. I thought I figured something clever out here, but I guess not. Knockback though, jeez. Hmm. I can see another picture of this kind of push block up there on the top ledge. And the push blocks do seem to have a little arc on them. But... Hmm. I'm sure I can't destroy these things. 
Maybe the lasers can push blocks along? I don't know, I'm just guessing at this point. like it, but let's just go to one top and see what happens. No, it just blocks it. <clears throat> and this just tells you about how to use the Grail. No idea what to do with this puzzle. Possible I need an item or something I don't have. I can push it the other direction. Yeah, I, I think I'm I think I'm pretty much stuck for now. Uh, my my playtime is about an hour. Uh, that's like modulo saves and stuff, so I'm gonna call that a video. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I hope me not knowing what to do wasn't too frustrating. But yeah, uh, that's La Mulana. Uh... It's a, it's a game! <laughs> I'm thinking of it, how do I... Oh, you just press B? Okay. I was gonna ask how you go back and pick the other game, but it looks like if you press B, it... Yeah, it goes back to this menu. Uh... Maybe I'll do a separate video when I actually play La Mulana 2, just... So it gets a chance to be seen. <laughs> but yeah, that's uh, La Milana. It's hard. <laughs> it's very confusing. <laughs> uh, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Bye!